Graduates, you may sit down now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Solano. I'm the director of the Tinkham Adult and Community Education Center. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you to the Wayne Westland Adult and Community Education 2013 Commencement Ceremony. Graduates, we are pleased to honor you tonight with your diplomas, as we will also recognize our GED recipients as well. All of you were very determined to accomplish your goals and to overcome your hurdles as you went on your way to achieve your personal victory. I applaud your persistence and, com and commitment on achieving that goal. Your teachers, counselors, and support staff are certainly proud of you as well. I'm sure you'll be all successful in the future. We hope your future will be bright and filled with health and happiness. I also want to say that uh, this is always an exciting time for me to be here to see you uh, be successful in getting your credential. And uh, it's, it's been great working with all of you through your challenges and your successes along the way. And I hope that you come and visit us at Tinkham to let us know your further successes and accomplishments. So thank you very much. At this time, I would like to introduce our honored guests. With us tonight, we have Carol Medell, the president of the Wayne Westland Board of Education. Tom Buckaloo, Vice President, Board of Education. John Gochi, Secretary, Board of Education. Shauna Walker, Treasurer, Board of Education. Sally Madison, Trustee, Board of Education. Trav Griffin, Trustee, Board of Education. And Frederick Weaver, Trustee, Board of Education. With us tonight, we also have Dr. Greg Bercy, Superintendent of Wayne Westland Schools. Paul Salah, Deputy Superintendent of Educational Services. James Larson Scheidler, Deputy Superintendent, Administrative and Business Services. Steve Kay, Principal of the William D. Ford Career Tech Center. Bill Swartz, Director of Tinkham Alternative Education. And Kimberly Doman, Supervisor of Tinkham Adult Education. I am pleased to present at this time, Dr. Greg Bears. Good evening, everybody. And thank you very much, Mr. Solano. It's always a pleasure and certainly an honor to be part of your graduation program. Welcome and congratulations to our 2013 graduates. This evening's commencement exercises represents one of the highlights of our academic year, and it truly is one of the significant events that we look forward to all year long. I deeply respect the commitment that each of our students have made to get their diplomas or their GEDs. I want to personally congratulate each graduate for their achievement and accomplishments, for beating the odds, overcoming the many obstacles, and most importantly, for making a difference in their own lives. Each of you, in your own way, are great success stories and should be so proud of yourselves and your incredible accomplishments. You know, I had an opportunity to speak with Angela Eichstadt about a week ago as she picked up her cap and gown, and Angela will be speaking here 
this evening, along with uh, the rest of the graduating class. And she was, she was in the GED program. And I, I asked her, what was your major goal and what pushed you to accomplish this significant task? And she shared her story with me, which was very emotional, very moving. It was a story of certainly hard work. It was a story of perseverance. It was a story of commitment. But it also was a, a story of importance, how important education is. And she wanted to set the example for her young son, how important it was to get an education. And her son that was with her that day also was proud as a peacock and celebrated with her her GED. So Angela, congratulations to you and all of your fellow graduates this evening. We are all so very, very proud of you. But you know, there's another piece to this story is you all did it your way, and it might be considered a little bit non-traditional, but you joined the ranks of several famous people that also pursued their GEDs and or their diplomas in a non-traditional way. And it was through an adult education program, very similar to ours. And those famous people, among them are comedian Bill Cosby, ABC News anchor Peter Jennings, comedian Chris Rock, and founder of the, the Wendy's hamburger chain, the late David Thomas, musician Waylon Jennings, Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead, and movie star and producer Michael J. Fox. And I gotta tell you, that is really good company. So, each of your stories are also unique and officially, you have reached another milestone in your life. No matter how different your backgrounds or goals might be, you have something in common. You leave here tonight better prepared for the future and have positioned yourself to be more competitive in the global marketplace. Each of you has demonstrated here tonight that you are made of extraordinary character. You have the drive to succeed. Shortly, you will receive an awesome credential, and that credential, your diploma, or GED, represents knowledge, understanding, skills, and power. You embark on a changing world and a global economy that is more competitive than any generation has experienced before. And that credential is more important than ever, and it designates you among the learned in today's society. From this point forward, the only limitations that you'll face are those that you impose on yourself. If you allow yourself to think that you are not smart enough, brave enough, talented enough, or worthy enough to obtain your dreams, then they'll come true and you will be correct. <clears throat> Mother Teresa summed it up this way. Life is an opportunity. Benefit from it. Life is beauty. Admire it. Life is a dream. Realize it. Life is a challenge, meet it. Life is a duty, complete it. Life is a game, play it. Life is a promise, fulfill it. Life is sorrow, overcome it. Life is a song, so sing it. Life is a struggle, accept it. Life is a tragedy, confront it. Life is an adventure, dare it. And life is luck, make it. Life is too precious. Do not destroy it. And life is life, fight for it. So this evening I ask our graduates one more thing. Sometime before this evening is over, I want you to thank your parents, family, teachers, supporters, and friends for their many sacrifices in helping you get this far unbroken. Forgive them their shortcomings as they have forgiven yours. They have given you their unconditional love. And I'd like you to remember as you leave here tonight that no one, no one, not your parents, not the government, not your society, not the courts, no one owes you anything. It is my prayer for you and your parents, family, teachers, and friends that you choose to live your life courageously and honorably with high purpose, and in doing so, give definition to your lives. Give back to your families, your school, the community. They've all given much to you. Graduates, the future is yours, you are our future, and I know you won't let us down. On behalf of the Wayne Westland Community Schools Board of Education, I once again salute and commend 
each and every graduate this evening who has achieved this significant accomplishment in their educational career. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am pleased to introduce to you our graduation speakers for this evening. The first of our three speakers is Miss Linda Vecchioni. education was available for individuals like me who have a very busy lifestyle but wanted to continue their education. The whole atmosphere was a more relaxed setting, uh, but made easy, but I'm sorry, uh, which for me made learning easier. I had for many years wanted to come back to school to obtain my GED, but was very fearful. I had many struggles and barriers to overcome to get here. After divorce, I became a single mother at the age of 19. Raising and providing for my daughters became my priority. I had always dreamed to finish school, but as the years had passed, the dream seemed further out of reach for me. At the age of 36, I made some bad decisions and my life path had changed for the worst. Today, though, I stand before you with four years clean from a disease of addiction. strong program to ensure that I do stay on track towards achieving my goals in life. There is a line in my literature, Lost Dreams Awaken, and this does fall true for me. I also suffer from bipolar disorder, which at times can make learning think new things challenging due to the confusion, but achievable. This is not my first time I came to Tinkham to try to get my GED. I enrolled a couple years ago and due to unexpected health problems, I was unable to complete the course. I am so blessed to work today in a recovery center and have a daily opportunity to help others overcome the barriers in their lives by being a supporter to them, by believing in them. I have learned that we all need someone to just believe in us. <coughs> Therefore, we start to believe in ourselves. I do today have an amazing support system myself. I have family, I have friends, and I have co-workers who encourage me to be the best that I can be. I have always had a passion for helping other people. I wanted to be able to go to college and get a degree in social work. Coming to Tinkham has started me on this path to be able to reach my goal. Without my GED, I was so limited to the things that I could do in life. It was holding me back. I will be attending college this fall to work towards a four-year degree. I have made some uh, great friends while attending here this, this past school year. I had a wonderful opportunity to meet people of all ages and all professions coming together for a common goal. I would tonight publicly like to thank Ms. Clay it's kind of dark, so I can't see her. <laughs> she made learning fun for me. When I was struggling, she took the time to come to my level and explain things to me until I understood them. She provided me with additional resources to ensure my success. She helped me to believe that I could succeed. The principal was always available to us students. He used to come to the classroom and say good morning. <laughs> Um, and when we saw him in the hallway, we had questions or concerns, he always made time for us. The whole experience of coming to Tinkham and obtaining my GED has changed me greatly. It has built up my confidence and has me excited about my future today. Not having been in school for so many years, 31 to be exact, was extremely fearful for me. Not only facing my fear, but starting something and seeing it to the end is an amazing feeling. There were struggles and challenges, and at times, pure frustrations, but I did it. I pushed myself to finally achieve something that I only used to dream about. I did learn a lot about myself in this process. Mostly, I learned I can overcome barriers in my life. I'd like to again thank my loved ones, the staff, for believing in me and for helping me along my journey. 
I will forever be grateful. Thank you. Great job. Our next speaker is Ms. Angela Eichstead. everything. It's knowing where to go and how long it will take to get there. I have wanted a career since I was young, making a difference in this world. I grew up thinking that I needed to do something big to make a difference. I was wrong. As an adult, I realized that the little things that add up and make a big difference. For me, it was coming to Tinko so I can receive a GED so that I can continue on to college and start a career. I never imagined the inspiration, support, and confidence it would also give to me. The impact it made on my son when I received my GED. He smiled and hugged me so hard I wanted to cry. He said, you did it, Mom. I'm so proud of you. The gratification was overwhelming. As a single mom, it is hard to juggle school, Cub Scouts, running the household, helping my son with his homework, and preparing for our future. It will continue to be, but it is totally worth it. My little boy looks up to me, and when he sees me fulfilling my dreams, I know that I am inspiring him to one day fulfill his. While writing this speech, I could not help but stroll down memory lane. I can remember at 16 years old, I dropped out of school. I then had my son Gage at the age of 19. At the age of 20, I enrolled in adult education and dropped out again. I continued to struggle and lose confidence in myself. It took me 12 years to get here. I may have failed, but what matters is I kept trying. Here I am now, 28 years old, and a graduate of Tinko. I finally did it. The struggles I went through remind me that it was only life giving me a lesson. I, heard, I had to learn that I could not fly through life without effort. I've waited my entire life for this. I wanted to make a difference in this world. Tinkum gave me that. Mrs. Kalea and Mrs. Stover focused on teaching me what I did not know. Anytime I needed assistance, they would step aside with me and help me and explain. I would like to thank Tinkum staff and all of my fellow students for the guidance and moral support. You all took part in my success. It meant the world to me hearing my teachers and fellow classmates praising me and telling me how smart I was. I would like to thank my friend and Tinkum graduate, Amy Helm and her family for always being there to listen and encourage. You're <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Most of all, my son Gage for motivating me to follow my dream. <laughs> As Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I know for me, if it were not for my dreams, I would not be here today. My dream for my child's future, and my dream to succeed. I want you all to remember that the possibilities are limitless, especially to your life's dreams. Thank you. Thank you, great job. Our last graduation speaker for this evening is Miss Jamie Hughes. Good evening. 
Most of you look at yourselves today as getting a diploma and finally being out this bad boy. When you think about it, graduating really is much more than that. Entering Tinkin was not a requirement for me. In fact, it was not a requirement for any of my peers either, but as you can see, they made it a priority to show what they were capable of. We all know why we came to Tinkin, and whether it was to fix our past mistakes or further our education, now we stand before you with all the proud smiles that we deserve. Smile, guys. From the multiple times I have dropped out of school, I figured I would give Tinkham a try. You are never too old to go back and finish school. I am 26 years old as I walk the stage tonight, and I cannot be more proud. People ask if you graduate. They don't care how old you are, just if you graduate, said fellow student Courtney Keener. Her quote has changed my per per perspective on a lot of things. The impact this school has given me is something I will never forget. The staff and students did everything they could to make sure I was comfortable. Not only have I extended my learning by being here, but the change Tinka made in me was to help others as often as you can because you will never know when you may need help yourself. One memory I have was taking attendance and giving an assignment out for the class. I was able to make the class laugh while answering their questions, which in turn got their attention. This was the day I discovered I could enjoy teaching. Attending the school has opened my eyes on more than one occasion, and now I'm leaving with a career path in mind. That is something I was not able to do at my other schools. I have always had a few. Thank you. I have always had a fear of looking unintelligent by asking a ton of questions in front of class when I do not completely understand. I'm sure a lot of people out here have that same fear. That is something I no longer have to worry about, and I have the staff to thank for their support. It is okay to ask questions and have an open mind. Every day I witness teachers learning from students and students learning from teachers. Everyone, here, everyone is here to help you no matter what, and that is something you should always remember. From the lips of Jimi Hendrix, in order to change the world, you have to get your heads together first. Things are only proven true when you have experienced it yourself. And from what I've accomplished at this school, Jimi Hendrix is right. There is nothing you cannot do if you put yourself first. Mrs. Panic taught me that one. She is one tough teacher, but that is the kind of role model you need. If you let people get to you and push you around, you will not get a chance to be yourself. Do not worry, though. She is a super caring individual and will make sure you leave with an active brain. Thanks, Mrs. Panic. I think she's not here today, but let's give her a round of applause. Now, when you look at yourselves today, you can be truly proud. Not only have you received your diploma or GED, but you're ready to move forward by taking what you have learned and sharing it with somebody else. Spread your knowledge and keep your head up, because now you have that ability to impact somebody's life, and that is something you will never forget. Thank you. Thank you, uh, class representatives. Those are always <coughs> great speeches to hear, moving, as well as entertaining. Uh, next, at this time, I would like to welcome Ms. Carol Medell, President of the Board of Education. Ms. Medell. that you've had to overcome to get to this day. It's time to celebrate your courage. It wasn't always easy path to get to the spot you are today. It's time to celebrate your tenacity. Sometimes you had to make hard choices to get to this day. It's time to celebrate when you set your mind to it, you can accomplish a goal, and you did it today. It's time to celebrate today with family and friends who have come to see you receive the recognition that you have met your goal. You're leaving here today 
with your future in front of you. Make good choices and use the skills that you have learned from us and with us. To you, much has been given. From you, much is expected. So it's time to celebrate that you have overcome your past. It's also time to celebrate that today is a new day. It's your time to celebrate all the world is waiting to teach you. It's time to take a deep breath and take all of the time that you need for your next challenge in life. You take with you all of our hopes and dreams for your future. Good luck always, and don't forget to celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how big or how small. It's now time to celebrate the important words that I'm going to say to you right now. On behalf of my colleagues who comprise the Wayne Westland Board of Education and the powers vested in me as president of this body, it is now my greatest honor and my privilege to officially congratulate you, our students, on a job well done. I hereby declare, I hereby declare that the Wayne West Land Community School District Adult Community Education Alternative High School Class of 2013 officially graduated. Make us proud. Jamie Hughes. <laughs> Heather McKenzie. <laughs> Katie Wooten. <laughs> Tim Murray. Joanne Dobrev. <laughs> Brianne Cutts. <laughs> Corey Majeski. <laughs> Joseph Ward. <laughs> Anita Cocklow. Christina Wood. Chelsea Magnum. Kristen Bragmanzer. Louis Pitts the second. Anita. Ta uh, excuse me, Asia Taylor. I need glasses, Asia. That's Asia, don't forget. Joel Penrod. Diamond Pearl. Bobby. Aida. Elizabeth Dawson. Jalisha McMurphy. Ashton Gillian. Hannah Stump. Eric Trout. Marcel Hunter. Christopher Milheiser. Thank goodness. 
Jeffrey McDormand. Lonnie Robinson. Destiny Russell. Daniel Stamper. Samantha Bello. Robert Zeb. Alan Richard. At this time, I'm once more honored to announce the following people who have graduated and will receive their GED certificates. Stephen Vladimir. Keith Payne. Nicole Black. <laughs> Michelle Nazarowski. <laughs> Megan Cookson. <laughs> Christy Coulter. Sheila Kogelschatz. <laughs> Tila Thomas. Yeah! Amanda Erickson. <laughs> James Thompson. Yeah! Robert Stone. <laughs> Jacob Lovelady. <laughs> Kristen Van Wasinova. <laughs> Ashley Hall. <laughs> Julian Hernandez. Linda Vecchioni. <laughs> Angela Eichstead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2013.
And lastly, we have the Alternative Education Staff Scholarship, and this is being awarded to Hannah Stump. Congratulations, scholarship winners. Thank you, Ms. Doman. At this time, I would like to bring Mr. Schwartz, the principal of the Alternative Education Program, to come up and share a few words. Thank you. This is a tough act to close. Since I never spoken at a graduation ceremony before, I called a former principal, Joe Orban, and asked him for some advice. He was kind enough to give me two pieces of advice, both of which I'll try to apply here tonight. First he said, say something to the students about life. After all, it's kind of your last shot at them. Second, for crying out loud, you're the last one speaking, be brief. As a first year principal, you like that. <laughs> As a first-year principal at Tinkham Alternative High School, I think it'd be safe to say that one of the things I've learned this year is that students at Tinkham are not really fond of following the rules. 2,000 plus office referrals have impressed me with their ability to find new ways to get into trouble. As evidence of this, I submit to you that according to the research that I was able to find this year, the class of three students that are graduating from Alternative High School have a record of 87 office referrals, 54 suspensions, and two expulsions. These are all during their high school career, so not all this year. In their defense, I will say that these are some of the best students in the, in the building. So I have some good news for you, graduates. Congratulations. You are now in charge of the rules. Not your parents, not your teachers, not your principal. You. But before you get all crazy with the newfound power that you have, I'd like you to know that we all have rules in life that we have to follow. And I'd like to suggest that you create some of your own rules to follow from this point forward. To get you thinking about what kind of rules you might want to create for yourself, I'd like to remind you of some of the rules that I shared with you on the first day back in the fall. I've shared these with all five of my own children, and they seem to have stood the test of time. My rules for life. Rule number one, show up. Attendance is good, but life is lived in the moment. Life is lived in the present, not in the future, not in the past. Rule number two, attitude is everything. How you are when you show up is important. People, have, people hate being around someone with a bad attitude. Your friends don't enjoy you, your family don't, doesn't, and those you work with surely won't. Attitude is more important than what you know. Rule number three, life is not always fair. Refer to rule number two. Life happens to everyone. We all have challenges, obstacles, crappy stuff that happens to us. None of it is anything we can control. All you have control over is how you will respond to what happens to you. Remember rule number two, attitude is everything. Rule number four, do more than what's expected. Mediocrity is so easy. People, people don't get very far in life if they just do the minimum. Don't be like that. Be an achiever. Better yet, be an overachiever. Okay, so that's my parting shot of wisdom at you this, this evening. Now let me be brief. If you've listened to my remarks this evening, I promise you that in the future, this is the version that you'll remember. <laughs> Rules. <laughs> Attitude is everything. 
Do more than what's expected. Wah, 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 wah. Congratulations, class of 2013. <laughs> Thank you.